greetings. I knew it. When uh, a good friend of mine, uh, she just said that, I said, you don't understand, lie, 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 lie. We were just joking around. I was pulling her leg. She started to pull my leg. And she said, you are dumb. Uh, we were discussing. Uh, she's not, uh, but she's a good friend of mine. She really respects me. And she has thought well of me, highly. So uh, she has thought very highly of me. Uh, she was in St. Joseph's College with me. Uh, later on, she joined. So this is not that ex-friend, but that's uh, not a Shia Muslim. And she was, anyhow. So I told her, oh, you people just want to, you know, you all Muslims, you want to believe in the all-powerful God. So do you see this? I found this verse later on in Surah Nisa, right? I've even, uh, yeah, on my profile here, Zahra Laila Jawad. Man is weak. See? So even with my own dua, I was like, why should I say I am Zalil, you are great, okay? Uh, some uh, uh, Hindus also uh, tell us that, you know, we are ego, we are bad people. Uh, Hindu gurus, like, uh, you know, Paramahamsa uh, Vishwananda. And Allah wants to lighten for you. What what excuse does he have? Yeah, Surah Nisa. So, you know, if you want, if you fear that you are going to now go into fornication, adultery, your wife is not with you. Adultery is a married man or a married woman. But anyhow, this is regarding the man who cannot afford to marry a rich woman who cannot afford to marry a free, chaste, sorry, it doesn't say rich there, but if he has this craving, this fear that I will go into fornication, if, uh, let me just pause. Yes, yeah, so thank God I remember uh, what I said earlier after a pause, taking a break. So he doesn't want to, uh, so he fears and God tells him, well, uh, you can't afford, uh, if you can't afford to marry a free, chaste, believing woman, then you can marry these slaves, uh, what your right hands possess, maids or someone, lower than free, they are definitely ro lower, their punishment is also lower, half of. <coughs> so that God gives a good reason, good, <sighs> If you see this cleverness, I'll uh, collapse. I don't know about you, how much you can take of this cult, which is now being exposed inside of me. But what I'm seeing and sharing, ah, so, you know, uh, I jokingly told my friend, no, no. Yeah, and I really did, uh, I joked with her, but uh, she was also pulling my leg that I'm dumb. I'm saying, uh, you people, uh, like you Sunni Muslims, have not understood the true meaning of la ilaha illallah. <coughs> and that we have understood Shias, right? Then I said, no, no, all of you, you just believe because you want to believe in a powerful God. That's what Muhammad has made you. See, it came here. All the, what is the reason for all this fear of immorality, fornication, zina, and Allah wants to lighten for you your difficulties. <laughs> and the mankind was created weak. Are God, you created? No, no, let me see. Here and there going... <gasps> Ah, oh, it comes to verse 1. Uh, so which verse was this? It was after all this, that if a man, so 25, after 25, verse 25 in Surah Nisa. Oh my God, wait a minute, uh, I'm uh, going, I cannot uh, believe. What are you think, Zahra Jawad? 
against the real mist oh yes yes very very good do not mistreat the women fathers mothers this that are forbidden to you forbidden unmarried women except the female captives in your possession this is Allah's commandment to you this uh, Dr. David Wood uh, pointed out a long time ago in one of his videos he used to upload. Forbidden are married women except female captives in your possession. Legal marriage, not in give those you have consumed the marriage you with their due dowries. <coughs> but uh, what will they? Oh, I can't even say this. We are cherry picking. No, we are showing you the parts. And uh, if you want to, please, Quran is there online. It is not a difficult thing. You don't have to reverse search images and all this, which Science Journey has asked us how to check these pictures of the warki and all this it is very very easy you just go to read the whole verse it was so easy that how we got brainwashed i don't know no no in that way it wasn't easy for us muslims but very easy to look into it and uh, please don't be in that brainwashing mode you get it uh, okay so all this right fear of uh, fornicating get yourselves those right tense women whom you possess leave the free chaste believing women alone you cannot afford because <clears throat> and yet you have this fear to you go for these possessions. Huh? Imagine you are, uh, you don't love them. You don't love them. But consider, consider, bring this point, point into consideration. Yeah, you don't love them. You, and yet we are told that they should be pious, they should be chaste, but you are marrying them because of your fear and they will protect you. Better to go to a prostitute and go to get a prostitute instead of these women. For your fear of uh, falling into fornication, you don't even love them. You have no feelings for them. And yet God is telling you here, they should be chaste, they should not be immoral, they should not uh, have secret lovers. And what are you seeking them out for? Your fear that shaitan will put in you, put in you. Yeah? And it is Allah's will to make things clear for, uh, to you, guide you to the noble ways. Oh, wait, I, I'm sorry. There's a quotation mark, no, ways of those before you. Okay, forget this no, quotation mark word, noble. <coughs> ways of those before you and, and they turn to you in mercy. For Allah is all-knowing, always. I want to get married to you. Uh, you, uh, you are, uh, uh, you are not uh, that uh, rich Zahra, uh huh? I, I have this fear. You don't even have to tell them that uh, you have this fear, do you? My father didn't get married, telling my mother or me. No preparation, and then you care so much for women. And the rights. Some man comes and says, I want to get married. Comes to my father. I want to get married. 
I need to have to. No, no. I just want to get married. It is time. It is uh, Islam. It is God. It is Muhammad telling me because it is in the Quran. But what is the thing behind it? What is the thing? If you have the fear, these poor women, we are saving you from the fear and the punishment of adultery, fornication. Maybe your rich wife is not with you. You're believing free fornication. So don't, uh, no, you, got, uh, you can't get married to a rich, uh, free woman. See how they have put it there. They have not even put the rich, free, chaste. They have put free, chaste women, believing women, whom you cannot afford. And then these ulemas, Zakirs, Malvis, in uh, what you call them, in Karachi, they tell us, Dilagya Maulana Sab. Malana Sab Amar Dila Gyanpe. Our heart came. Uh, we love them. No, 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 no. He did the Laniki. Azim Islam Ketahe Rasulaka tells us that you should not get married because your heart has come on them out of love. Huh? But you don't let me complete my sentence. I will uh, laugh out loud, crack up. No, no, wait a minute. That you have this fear. Fear of what? Fornication. Mm. So just for your dirty desire, lust, fear of falling into this fornication, you get married to these poor women with your right hands, with your right, and you are sprung amongst, from each other. You are one from each other sprung out. And yet, these women are supposed to save these men Because there is a fear that you will go into fornication. What kind of... What are you telling me, Zahra? What are you telling me? Dil aagiya, Maulana sahab, woh buri baat hai. Aray, woh sunni hai, mein shia hoon. उस शिया सुनी पे दिल आ गया वो बेचारे शराब पीता है अच्छा इंसान है अपने गुना कर रहा है उसको खुदा माफ कर देगा नहीं नहीं तुम लोगों को अपना मौलाना साहब दिल नहीं आना चाहिए खौफ आ गया कि मैं गलत काम कर सकता हूँ fornicate without taking responsibility it is a noble thing to get married now hmm? how do you judge ye to quran ki bhi aayat hai na how do you judge yani ek bichari ladki ka dil aa gaya mohabbat se pyar pyar se shaadi kar rahi hai किसी से प्यार हो गया ये अब इधर खुदा बोल रहा है मैं आस्ते आस्ते खुदा मुझे हौसला दे गिव मी स्ट्रेंथ इधर आई वाज सर्चिंग फॉर सो आई लेफ्ट आई वाज सर्चिंग फॉर दैट वीक मैन काइंड यू आर वीक एंड यू शोली गॉड मोहम्मद न्यू दैट ही इज गोइंग टू यूज हिज ऑल पावरफुल गॉड to exploit that weakness of yours. Muhammad knew whether he was epileptic, insane, or whatever he was. He was definitely the most uh, cleverest man. 
I've ever known. And I'm wondering where this uh, satanic cleverness came from in him. There are Western epileptic people in the Congress, in the Parliament, Britain, uh, Europe. They haven't done what Muhammad gave us here. See, man is weak. So now I've, uh, okay, this point, man is weak. He definitely knew. And if I was, uh, I was in the right telling my friend that uh, you see what do you human be? What you Muslims, what we Muslims, I was a Muslim then, Shia Muslim, what we, we just want to, you know, hang on because we need power. He exploited that. That's why we have this verse in Surah Nisa later on. But if any of you cannot afford to marry a free believing woman, then let him marry a believing bondwoman possessed. See, here it's not a saying out of love. But here it is saying that if this man, if they commit indecency after marriage, they receive half of a free man. This is for those of you who fear falling into sin. This is for those of you who what? Fear? Falling into sin? So you marry these good chaste, uh, even the bond women as good for Allah knows best, that uh, they could be better in faith than you. All this uh, makan, uh, flattering, showing that how great Allah is. Allah understands that even these bond women, now Allah, Allah knows best that. And what has uh, Ali commentary said in multilingual Quran about this are Shia that uh, even the bond women can be have a higher faith than this these believing women who have this fear of uh, going into the sin of what fornication this desire this is in us young age you know <clears throat> this is inbuilt in us, a sexual desire. So all these men fearing, oh my God, now Rasulullah has put this. His Allah has told them, and uh, what if I'm, I can't even afford to marry a free woman, believing chaste woman. Then the Allah, the great, the all-knowing, the all-powerful, because he has created the man so weak, that he fears that he might go into this. And he has also given him the desire. Now this is a believing man who has the fear of falling into the sin of what? The sin of fornication. The sin. I think I'll end at this. This is a... Uh, oh. And uh, what is the number of that verse? Man is created weak. You know, this is uh, more than an epileptic man. With due respect to epileptic people out there. God knows what they must be going through. This man, and those dingy promotes dinginess among people. Spend. Likewise, for those who spend their wealth to show off and do not believe in Allah. See, there are people who show off. What harm could have... See, yeah, our Quran ayat told us. And what harm could come upon them. Indeed, Allah never wrongs anyone. Even by an atom's weight. Okay, atom has been... Uh, ooh, where is that verse? I, I, but I did just share it. I just didn't put the... I've sh uh, shared it on my post from Surah Nisa'ah. Go back. <coughs> and Allah wants to lighten for you. It must be after 25. Why couldn't I find it? And Allah wants to lighten for you your burden. So just get the desire and the fear of this desire out. 
believing women, uh, men and women should not have this this uh, this fear of fornication. What kind of believing men are they? So even Muhammad knows that this desire is a natural, inbuilt desire for women and men, put in by nature, and he has exploited it. He has made his God seem brilliantly good, but I have got him. It is Allah's will to make things clear to you, guide you to the noble ways of those before you, and turn to you in mercy, for Allah is all-knowing, all-wise. And it is Allah's will to turn to you in grace, because without God's grace we cannot turn operate, but those who follow their desires wish to see you deviate entirely from Allah's will. Those who follow the, but Baba, even the fear is in men, believing men, of fornicating, the sin of fornicating. And it is Allah's will to lighten your burdens. Verse 28, for humankind was created weak. Miskin, and a miskin. Wa'ifa. Wa'ifa. Zaifa. Wa'ifa. Zaifa. Zaifa, Fatima Zahra. And a miskin, and a zaif. Abu Dhabi, Islam, zaif. <laughs> I had put that. <coughs> Mommy, get out of this religion. Help me get out. And never come back to this cult, ever. And it is Allah's will to lighten your burdens for humankind, if God had given me strength, really. For humankind was created weak. So I could have done more. See, Allah wants to accept your repentance. But those who follow their passions want you to digress into a great deviation. Yeah, blame it on those. Uh -huh. Those who follow their passions. What are we told here? Even this believing men, believing, even these believing men, this believing, whoever it is, that the, believing men are told. That uh, if you have a fear, so please don't put it on those who don't believe in this God and this cult. Now I'm exposing it. Maybe someone else exposed it and was executed. Executed. <coughs> if they should come in, no, half punishment here. This allowance, why half punishment? You know, because they are not a free, chaste, believing women. That's why half punishment for them. And then this allowance is for him among you who fears sin. What is God saying? For the women or for? No, because if you cannot afford, keep chaste. First he says keep chaste. If you cannot find means in Surah, Noor, Ayats, keep chaste. But here he is saying, isn't he saying, if you have a fear, Aqab, we are explained in multilingual Quran. So I have to start from in legal marriage, not in fornication. Give those who you have consummated marriage with the due dowries. Also forbidden are married women except female captives in your possession. Okay, give those, uh, it is permissible to be mutually gracious regarding the set dowry. Surely Allah is all-knowing always. Now we come to verse 25 of Surah Nisa. But if any of you cannot afford to marry a free believing woman, then let him marry a believing bond woman possessed by one of you. 
poor bond women possessed by one of you. Allah knows best the state of your fate and theirs. You are one you are from one another. So marry them with the permission of their owners, giving them their dowry in fairness. Okay, God, you are very great fairness. Very, very fair. Most fair. Most just. If they are chaste, neither promiscuous nor having secret affairs, if they commit indecency after marriage, they receive half the punishment of free women. This is for those of you who fear falling into sin. But if you are patient, it is better for you. So God has made all these kinds of things that he's covered everything. Practical Shia. Oh, Islam is so practical. And he has covered every. Oh, I know what the Shias are going to say. So you are protected. Your men are protected. And then these women who are used to protect the society from fornicators and all this children coming out can uh, so they are uh, half of punishment half are you serious yes you're going to tell me God has covered everything or Allah has covered and this is because uh, man is what first give me the this is because man first give me this forget our imam's uh, sayings right now please the reason god has given here and it is allah's will to lighten your burdens yes but here god doesn't say that uh, you have fallen in love with this woman no you have the fear of fornication. That's what Akapuya explained in Ali commentary about this verse. Surah Nisa verse 25. So he has covered everything but not covered for those women who fall in love. He has even covered the fear of men falling into what? fornication but leave the heart aside of a woman the Maulana sahab I mean pyaar ho gaya hai sa ladke se Maulana sahab I fell in love with this no 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 I said Nikan don't do it Pyaar ho kya, bas ye aata hai kehta hai, pyaar ho kya, mein kya karo, what can I do, he was a Sunni, I'm a Shia. And it is Allah's will to lighten your burdens. For humankind was created zaif, weak, anna zaif. Do you see how uh, uh, Muhammad Saab has used God? Sir Muhammad used God. Huh? He knows we are created. Oh, how he knows about human psychology. How he knows human nature. And because I don't see him as a true prophet. So this uh, devil we must, uh, because our own Imam said that you should do marifat. And I think we are doing marifat now of their great, great, great grandfather. And Imam Ali's cousin and the father-in-law. Cousin? Uncle? <coughs> 
uncle cousin oh god abu talib and cousin imam ali's cousin and the father-in-law muhammad and i will show you step by step my truth allows me that truth not this kind i'm not exploiting for self-glorification and whatever agendas people have <coughs> or that epilepsy or schizophrenia okay i have schizophrenia but i'm not using this uh, i mean i i tell you time and again what is my condition oh my god but i will see thank god made it easy for me truth truth shall pre prevail let's see which true in this world even india hindus they tell me they have this lion and it means that uh, you know on there for their symbol or what do you call that the country's uh, logo or symbol lion the truth will prevail even idolaters idolaters truth will prevail and here he is against idolaters and all this idol worshiping and it is allah's will to lighten your burdens for humankind was created weak so this is what i was telling my friend that maybe the way you are seeing it i may be dumb telling you but uh, you know you are just scared of that all-powerful God that Muhammad has made you scared of. So many punishments and such ways. And you, you know, for power of also, we like to seek something higher, higher, above us. Even spiritually, even materialistically, but materialistically and spiritually. You see what uh, this Muhammad, okay, I will be repeating myself. <clears throat> For if, if we are created weak by God, who is to be blamed? Us or God? You tell us. Where are we told in this very Quran that God created us, right? Then why did he we cannot blame him, but if I blame him, the Muslims will say, you are dumb. You, we never, never blame Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No? He can blame us, but we can never blame him. And it, I can give you point after point and all that. Okay, now I'm losing it, uh, losing my strength, uh, it uh, drains, uh, so I'll come back later. Continuing exposing Muhammad's Muhammad, what a devil he was, and a strong, 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 very, very, very strong cult, extremely strong cult. And through the Quran, I have to do it, and I really don't have the heart. I didn't have the heart to see hypocrites take hypocrites in my life, you know. But I have to do it. Thank you. I will continue later.